Woogs posted on the Apex Legends Reddit and said, Reaching max level 1000 will increase your prestige level and reset your level back to 1. Every time your prestige level increases, you can unlock a single prestige skin of your chosen legend. Now, a lot of people are a big fan about this because with the new Bloodhound skin coming out costing $164 at the maximum, it's just really outrageous to a lot of players plus seeing as it already takes a really long time to reach level 500 entering this system being a prestige system like call of duty would allow people to grind their way to get some really nice skins next on the list is crypto's heirloom a lot of people already know about this this has been released for a few days now but the crypto heirloom has finally been added to the game files it's going to be available in the anniversary event the warriors event and just like any other collection event you have to unlock all the items in order to get crypto's heirloom again that's going to cost around 164 dollars just like the bloodhound skin for the event previous we still don't have a date on when this event is going to be coming out but it is going to be sometime in season 12 i'm thinking sometime in the middle of the season maybe entering split two some people think that his heirloom is going to be able to fold up i personally think it's just fine how it is um i really want it to have a little bit more glow in my personal opinion having a cool glow lightning effect around the sword would be really awesome now starting february 15th they're going to have an anniversary shop event and these are all the skins that you're going to get out of it we have things like the thunder kitty skin the hype beast leader skin a lot of these skins i'm a big fan of and they come with the bundles which will give you seven legendary packs i think my favorite skin is definitely the deputy of death caustic skin now we do have a brand new leak of a new gun that could be coming to the game it's going to be called the aagl or softball and this stands for anti-armor grenade launcher so a grenade launcher could possibly be coming to the game usually in other games in the past grenade launchers have been pretty overpowered so it's going to be interesting to see how this is going to be implemented into the game this being the first iteration of a gun like this that's going to be it for the video guys don't forget to like the video it really helps me out subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you guys in the next video